Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. It is a gorgeous day here in South Texas. Someone had asked me, actually several people had asked me, where are some good spots to see the whooping cranes? Well, you could randomly see them almost anywhere. But I'm going to head over to my uh, go-to spot over here in Lamar. Go north uh, when you're in Rockport, you'll come to this causeway and head to Goose Island State Park in general. And then I'm going to show you my favorite spot. My favorite spot. That's uh, Copano Bay on the left there and Aransas Bay on the right. It's in the low 60s. The sun is out. The skies are blue. We're in Texas. Everything's all right, all right, all right. Hey, my friend Joe, I hope you're still on the mend today. I hope you're feeling great. Tell the girls I said hello. Hey, Kizzle and Emma. Oh, my intro. So when you get off the causeway, guys, come to the Exxon 7-Eleven and make a right. Yeah, I have seen whooping cranes in this area. Of course, you have to come to the right time of the year when they migrate here and hang out for a while. Usually in the spring and summer, right? Sometimes they like to go skiing, so they... No, I'm just kidding. There's Pops right there. Good place to get a burger and a beer. Pops. Just take this road straight like you're heading to Goose Island State Park. Man, it's a gorgeous day. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, so we, uh, we saw one at Port A a few weeks ago right on the South Jetty. I have read on Facebook that people spot whooping cranes at the birding center in Aransas Pass. I'm sorry, uh, Port Aransas. We have done videos from there. So that might be another good spot. Where I see them consistently is a field over here that I want to show you. So we're just, uh, we're going to take this road straight down to the end. I love this time of year spring all the birds will be coming here we get over 500 species of birds that either live here year-round or migrate through here we get the butterfly migrations the uh, the bats will be coming back from Mexico setting up shop at different locations I believe they're the ring-tailed uh, bats is that a thing I'd have to I'd have to Google that there's a bridge in Austin, Congress Avenue Bridge, where there's two million bats come out from under that bridge at night. And then there's other places. Uh, tr there's a few uh, train tunnels in state parks, abandoned train tunnels where they come out at night. And um, where else? Devil's Hole comes to mind. And it's, it's amazing. I mean, there's so many bats. They, they look like clouds like black clouds in the sky and that really helps keep the uh, the bug count down if I was over here in Lamar I would have a bunch of bat houses on my property <laughs> because the skeeters over here in Lamar they're uh, they're Texas skeeters they're a good size so this uh, stop sign right here if you made a right you would go to Goose Island State Park. Keep going straight. All right, guys, so we just came straight down the road over the causeway. You make a right at the 7-Eleven, and it'll bring you right down to here. How's that for a live oak right there? A 
couple people asked, what are all these gnarled, cool-looking trees? That is a live oak, and that is bent that way from the wind. It's pretty cool. This is St. Charles Bay right here. And we're going to take this almost to the end. The last field on the left will be the field that I'm talking about where I do spot whooping cranes. Usually we're coming from the other direction, so I'm on the water side out the window and I can film the water. I honestly don't know if we've ever gone this way to show you guys. I was just talking to someone. Someone left a message about the Frontier Fishing Lodge. I forget that gentleman's name. But someone just left a message uh, this morning about Hurricane Harvey and the damage it had done. There is a car behind me, and I'm going to just let them go real quick. Excuse me, folks. I'll be back. I'll be back. There's an old puppy dog in the street, and he's out going for a walk. He's just having his constitutional. You know what? The original dad joke uh, came to mind because I was thinking, good morning. I got a wave and a hi. Woohoo! I was thinking that... Uh, Sorry, folks, pulled over to let another car go by. This is more traffic than this road has seen in 20 years. And now the guy that passed me is going to come back this way. How dare he go where he wants to go in the United States of America? Yeah, we rarely get to look at the left-hand side of the road. I have no doubt there could possibly be gators in that pond right there. The uh, little island... Well, peninsula across from this peninsula, peninsula, words are hard, is uh, the same peninsula that holds the Aransas National Wildlife Refuge. And it, it can't be more than mm, a, a mile tops, maybe three quarters of a mile over there. And uh, I have seen a gator or two right along here. There's the crack, folks. When you see that crack's gone, you know I started working for Uber again. And with gas prices like they are, 3.05 yesterday morning, and then uh, driving by a half hour later, 3.28 at the same places, I, uh, I can't see working for Uber and being able to make any money. All right, guys, this is the field I'm talking about. And... I was just talking to some birders, and there are whooping cranes out there. Woohoo! Well, guys, there are official birders here with telephoto lenses and binoculars and whatnot, but those are whooping cranes out there. They are a very large species of birds, four and a half, five feet tall. Several of them have NBA con uh, contracts. You can see the other birds are all here too. A lot of times there's uh, egrets here as well. But uh, this farmer's field here attracts the whooping birds. I also see... What may be Rosetta flamingos in the trees? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask one of the birders. Um, this highest point right right here, I do see pink and flapping wings. So I'm thinking those are uh, Rosetta spoonbills. But those are whooping cranes right there in the front. It is funny, guys. There's ten cars here. Usually when I come over here, there's nothing. And they're all here to see the whooping cranes and the Rosetta Spoonbills. So, there's not going to be any street signs here. I'm going to give you the cross street here so you could find it. But, to get to this intersection right here, come over the causeway, make a right at 7-Eleven, go until you can't go anymore and make a left, and you'll come right here. 
Okay guys, this is the intersection of Lamar Beach Road and 8th Street. Now depending where they are, this road, you can go down 8th and that seems to be where everyone is right now. You can still see the two, um, yeah, whooping cranes in the water. And I'm sorry I don't have a better camera. And the trees, all that pink stuff in the trees are Spoonbills. And there is a bunch of birders over there with foot and a half foot long photo lenses and binoculars. And people have tripods. There goes a uh, Rosetta Flamingo flying. I'm sorry, Rosetta Spoonbill. I keep saying Flamingo. How's that, guys? Just for good luck. And, of course, you could come over here 20 other times and not see them. Good morning, birds. Thank you, Lord. I'm just as excited to see the Rosetta Spoonbills in the trees. I have not been within 50 feet of one of those. Uh, like I said the other day at Port Aransas, we were within... 20 feet of one. Oh boy. I'm a happy boy. And this time of year, we'll also bring back the hummingbirds. And when I had apartments around here, my I had all these different cool glass hummingbird feeders. You know, some look like one looked like a Coke bottle. Very cool. Which brings us to an old joke. The original dad joke. Why do hummingbirds hum? Because they don't know the words. <laughs> There's three blue herring in the front right there. Man, this is like a safari park out here. This is a this is a rancher's field with cattle. They should call this the bullshit bird sanctuary. <laughs> Excuse my language. I didn't mean to say bull. Yeah, I guess, you know what, if the word bullshit offends you, you're, you're probably watching the wrong channel. <laughs> so this is the Lamar Beach Road, guys, at Still the Farmer's Field on our left there. Ooh, what are they looking at? They all got their binoculars out. Maybe we got something else to see, guys. Oh, there's a bunch of birds over there. Let me see. Let me ask someone. Let me ask someone. That was uh, more whooping cranes over there. You can see people going up to the fence. I guess we can find out the hard way if that's an electrified fence or not. It's not. But I'm still not going to pee on it. Look at all the wildlife out in there. Very cool. There's all the cattle out there. There must be 40 birders here around this field. Very cool live oaks. All different kinds over here. Look at that one kind of running right along the ground. And... There's some birders here. Look at all that firewood. I swear that's all from Hurricane Harvey. And then right over here on the right, guys, is the big tree parking lot. To give you an idea where we're this at. A whole big group of bikers rolled up on me while I was looking at the big tree. I hope there's no trouble. <laughs> You can't really see it, but back in there is the big tree. I've done a bunch of videos about the big tree. One is called Goose Island State Park, Part 2. And uh, there's videos where I walk all the way around at the fence. I guess my knees were feeling good that day. But that's a thousand-year-old tree. Legit. It's very cool. Hey, guys. Thanks for riding along today. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.